Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, my latest fragrance um, that you might have seen on one of my uh, videos that I posted the other day. Um, it is the Marc Jacobs Decadence Perfume. Now I bought the um, the 100ml one and this is the pure one. So this is the perfume one, not the Eau de Toilette. Um, so this is obviously going to be longer lasting. Um, a little bit stronger and just higher quality um, but yeah I'm really really excited about it I typically my favorite um, perfume brand is actually Versace I am sure I've said this many times on my channel before so you will already know this but um, I just love Versace perfumes I collect perfumes for the bottle obviously I wear the perfume so I have to like the scent but my main thing is do I like the bottle does it um, you know, does it have that similar style to the other ones in my collection? I feel like I'm getting like, I don't know, my neck's gone all red, sorry, I don't know what's happening, um, suddenly gone all itchy, I don't know, anyway, so, um, where was I? Uh, yeah, so I typically collect uh, perfume bottles to go on display, but I will wear them as well, but I like to have the bottles on display, so I typically go for, um, you know, very kind of clean lines, um, they usually just clear glass with gold accents on or just a gold bottle. I don't really go for colours, you know, like I won't have a red bottle or a blue bottle or whatever um, until now. So this is something a little bit different, but I just had to have it um, in my collection. It is going against the grain compared to all the other um, bottles that I have, but it's so beautiful. Um, I've seen it around for quite some time and I finally got it, so I'm very excited. So this is the box, um, obviously it's a big box, it's 100ml so the box is quite big um, and it's kind of this, um, like a velvet type of feel, um, like a velour, velvet, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm just worried if I rubbed off my lipstick, yeah but it's very very soft, you can kind of see as well it's quite cool, it kind of like the little blotches on there, they are supposed to be on there, I haven't spilt something on it. Um, it kind of like moves around in the light. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see how they move, which is quite cool. And I actually didn't notice that until I went to film this. <laughs> and I was like, just looking at it. And I was like, oh, it kind of, when you look at it with your naked eyes, um, you can't see that. But on camera, it kind of has this like little magic effect. Anyway, that's the box. I love it. Very, very luxurious, very decadent. Goes with the theme. Um, very beautiful. So I love that. Now to the actual bottle itself. I love this. Now obviously it has the gold there, but it's not a clear bottle, it is green, so it's going against what I normally have. But obviously you can see why I wanted this. It's the shape of a handbag. I love handbags, I collect bags. What I've actually done with this perfume um, is instead of adding it to my perfume collection um, shelf and putting it there, I've actually added it to my handbag shelf, one of my handbag shelves, um, it's got like little clutch bags and things on. I've actually added this perfume to that stand so it kind of sits with the bags because like this literally looks like a bag. I swear some people wouldn't even realise it's a perfume. Um, you know you can get perfumes that are, oh that's a perfume bottle in the shape of something. I feel like this doesn't even look like that. I feel like they've taken it to the next level with the the detailing on it, it literally looks like an actual handbag. It doesn't even look like a perfume bottle made to look like a handbag. It looks like an actual bag. So I love it. And you can see I'm holding it by the strap. Um, this is 100 mil, so it is heavy. It's glass, it's thick glass, it's 100 mil, and it's really, really heavy. And I'm holding it by my thumb. I can hold it by my little finger on the strap and it's not going anywhere. You'd expect the lid, you know, to come flying off and the perfume bottle to come falling down. Um, I could literally wear this, obviously I wouldn't. I'm tempted to. <laughs> um, yeah, you wouldn't wear it really, but you could because look how sturdy that is. Like you could literally wear this as a bag, a little clutch bag. Um, just the quality and the detail is so beautiful. This chain strap, it's just this gold chain strap. It's real um, metal, so it's not plastic. It's very, very thick. It's very sturdy. It literally feels like a piece of jewelry. Um, it's so beautiful. Oh, my neck. <laughs> I've gotten really itchy. Anyway, um, it's so beautiful. 
Then we have this tassel, which I don't know if you can see, but just even just the way the tassel's like plaited around the top is so pretty. Like the tassel itself, there's no frays in there. You can't see any glue or anything um, at the top. Like just honestly, the quality of this is amazing. Like everything about it is perfect. Like I can't find one fault, even Obviously this is some type of sticker or something, and this actually is made to look like snake skin, um, and it actually feels like it as well. It actually, it doesn't, it's not just flat, it actually is textured, so I love that as well. It literally feels like, I don't know if you can hear, if I run my nails up and down it, you can hear that. It's textured, so it actually feels like snake skin, um, but obviously it's some type of, I don't know, sticker or something over the top. Um, but even that, like, going down the seams and everything, it's it's perfect. Like, I can't find one fault with this bottle. It's so beautiful. Just the way it's made. It's made so perfect. And then we unclip the lid. That's what the lid looks like at the top. And then we have the bottle here. Honestly, this is so... I'm, like, mesmerised with how well this is made. I know it's just... A perfume bottle and you wouldn't necessarily it's not like it's a pair of shoes or something or a ba a real bag um, but I don't know I'm finding myself just inspecting it and just being amazed by how like amazing quality it is it's so nice so this is the bottle like I said it's a hundred mil so it's quite big um, I've already sp just sprayed it so I'm not gonna spray it again otherwise I won't be able to breathe um, but I will try my best to describe the uh, fragrance for you so this is, so what I would normally do when I describe perfumes is I would say the words I would use would be kind of zesty, citrusy, floral, fruity, um, sweet, uh, woody, spicy, um, oody, you know, I would use like, like words like that. Um, so bear that in mind. <laughs> so what I would say with this perfume, there's a little bit of musk to it. It definitely has zestiness to it. It definitely has a little bit of citrusness in there as well. So it's quite fresh. Citrus tones, um, you know, in a perfume make it, it make it smell quite fresh. So it definitely has that fresh scent. Um, but then as it settles, so when you first spray it, it has this zesty, citrusy, just freshness to it. So it feels very fresh. It feels quite kind of summery and definitely like a daytime fragrance. But as it settles down, it feels so much richer and creamier and smoother. And you you smell some like muskiness in there. Um, it has a sweetness to it as well. It's definitely not spicy or woody or anything like that. So if you're into that spicy type of a, um, you know, fragrance, then this won't be for you. But if you like anything, it's even slightly floral as well. So if you like florals, if you like fruities, if you like zesty, if you like musky, then you will like this. I feel like the only person that wouldn't be that into it would be someone who's like really loves those deep, spicy, woody um, scents. Um, but to me, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, I will leave the link to it below. Um, they've got a couple of different designs. I mean, the same, you know, the same bag, but different colours. Um, there's a limited edition one on the website as well, which is the same price as this one. Um, and it's just like, I think this is gold instead of this clear green. Um, so yeah, they've got some amazing um, perfumes on there. Um, so yeah, if you just click on the link and then type in Mark Jacobs in the search bar, all of the fragrances come up, including all of the other ones as well. Um, but yeah, it's on there. All the different sizes are on there. Um, they've got the Eau de Toilette one, which this isn't, but they do have that one on there as well. They have this one on there, like I said, the different sizes. Um, I don't really know what else I can say about it, apart from the fact that it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I do love it. Um, this one in particular is £98. Um, I don't know how much that is in dollars, 100 and something dollars, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, it's not cheap, but then it is the big size. You can get the smaller ones. There's even 30 mils on there as well. So you can get smaller ones if you want to. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the link and just have a look at what they've got because there's all different ones on there as well. Um, but I highly recommend it. It's very long lasting. It will last you all day. It's not gonna fade. Um, the quality of the, the bag, the bottle is so beautiful. So I highly, highly, highly recommend. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.